Kind of mad, me and Matt here. You know, I was, uh... I, I was on uh, the internet yeah, the other day, and I, uh, and I saw a uh, thing with Kurt Angle, and I don't believe I have it, but let's see if I can, I can get it here. Oh, okay. Um, so basically what happened is there is a... That was a, for the new DVD that just came out. So number... I think it was the top... Uh, top 100 superstars. And Kurt Angle ranked 34. And basically, what it what it had said was he didn't want to be on the list unless he was ranked higher. And I, well, you know, how fucking arrogant can you be? I mean, here you have a chance. You're actually on the top world's greatest wrestlers of all time and you're bitching because you're not fucking number one or a hundred you know you're, you're I you know, just despise people who are arrogant like that you know just suck it up and deal with it you know it, it's a uh, also uh they had Matt Hardy in his homepage on YouTube he, he did a video I guess I did a video a couple of days ago, and I didn't see it, but it was basically saying goodbye. And people were, from what I heard, people were going mental because it, they thought it was a suicide letter. A suicide video, which I saw a video yesterday that Matt Hardy made. Yes, he's still alive. Saying, you know... I have to retire because I was in an accident, but also it made me realize that I should hang it in. In, you know, because he has a lot of bad injuries. And, you know, I, I respect, I know, and I respect my Hardy for that because you do have to know when to say when. Um, a couple months ago when Edge, Adam Copeland retired, I was, I mean, I respected him then, but I respect him a lot now because of it. And then you have guys like Carl Colgan. Well, he was misquoted by saying, oh, you know, my, you know, Edge should not have retired because of uh, an injury. He should have kept going. But then he was misquoted by me. He meant something else. You know, and that, to me, it's like, why would... Why would guys like Ric Flair and Hulk Hogan and Scott Steiner and even Kevin Nash still go? You guys had your damn spotlight. Let someone else go. But no. And, and it's going to be in another ten years. It's going to be the same thing with uh, John Cena and Randy Orton. They're still going on about it now. They're still, they still want to hog the spotlight. And even, you know, I have a whole new respect for Shawn Michaels because he retired. He said he was going to retire if he lost to The Undertaker. And he did retire. And he's not back. To wrestle, I mean. And I, I respect him for that. You know, because... He told, his body told him he needed to retire, and he retired. And he, I don't see a lot of wrestlers do that, you know. And it just, people have to understand that you put your body on the line, things are going to happen. 
and one day you're just gonna have to say when and you know I know there's not a lot of people who watch wrestling anymore there's not a, a huge fan base as there once was but that's why I'm still a fan because these people put their bodies on the line for us if for, to entertain us and yes I find it entertaining a lot of people don't find it entertaining well I don't watch football and I don't watch hockey Yes, I'm a Canadian that doesn't watch hockey. I don't watch baseball. I always found wrestling entertaining, and I watch UFC as well. And there is a time, though, that there has to be a change. So step out, you know, and let someone else take over. It would be nice if Hulk Hogan and Ric Flair were to get off my screen Maybe TNA would be a hell of a lot better, but I, I don't know. You know, it's, you know, it's just one of those things that you think about, you know. Um, I guess that's it. I've been rambling on for a, a little bit now. All right. Cheers.